Coming into the four division play. The week before that, Sean Rash almost did it as well. Ten pin. Ten pin. First time ever this elimination format has been used in a major by virtue of absolutely dominating the qualifying, the 40-game qualifier in this event. Guy never trailed. Still without a major title, only has four to his credit. There's a sentimental favorite. It is Belmo and Palermo. The oil is going to take a beating today. Chris, how do you see that working out for Ryan Schaefer? The nail on the head. Three guys that absolutely torture an oil pattern. The voodoo roll we put to the test for sure in this one, because he is definitely going to get trapped in the middle of all that. Hunt. Whoa, ho, skinny jeans fit just right. Bowl on in a PBA experience league. Check with your local bowling center. Rash as the highest seed selected. It did not like this offering. He'll take the Brooklyn, but those things have a way of evening themselves out. Sometimes Belmo. the only thing that keeps you sane. Belmo nine spare in the first. Trouble. <laughs> so he goes trouble, and it's a strike. We know the success. Let's not forget this man right here because he actually won on the very same pattern. 45 year old drops all 10. Ryan Schaefer, the number 15 overall seed, only 16 made. Remember, low score out? Completely different countries, Finland and Australia. And we have very similar stories. He started at a very early age. I think he was two years old when he first threw his ball. Osku in the third. Still seeking a strike. Leaves double wood. World Championship. Another one of those runner-up finishes for him. Spare strike, strike. Schaefer's got to be one of the most. Except for Osku Palerma. He is yet to strike today. Here's Sean Rash. Oh, this Jason. for four as well. Off target. Come on, mate. Too high. Chris, what do you think Stay about there? And uh, that one goes high. He's going to have to make a change on the right lane for sure. Oh, boy. Open for the 300 man, Belmo, with an air ball. Goes through the front. It actually ends up his break point is further left. The red line is the right lane. He can get it. He can stand further left, get it further right, and still get it to the pocket. He is in the sixth. right now in the first match and get him out of the way. I think the first match on these longer patterns is the only chance that you get, because once there's friction on the lane, his rev rate supersedes. I think Palermo and Belmonte are gonna move left here pretty quickly. Typically during qualifying, do you see, than say, more tr the traditional players? Just a little bit. Messenger will not connect with the 10. Finally, a strike for Osku, an elusive major. Well, he got a huge break um, just to get past. Here's Belmo. 
in the seventh. Strike number four, 23 back, Osku trailing Belmo by 11. Rash leaves the nine pin, a lot with not a whole lot of communication between the two of them, but it is getting better. Yeah, I don't, I don't think they're gonna go out a to A lot of it behind them, which is good to see. And here are Rash and Belmo on how they view looking for his first double. And this will put him to within one of Jason Belmonte. Rash trailing Schaefer by one. His effort in the eighth, right through the nose. 300 pins. He obviously picked the Scorpion for a reason. Remember what he did on it just a couple of weeks ago. Way right. Way right the whole way. He's in trouble. He looks like he's just over. Over ramping it. Just over ramping it, trying to make it stay there. His last couple shots in practice, he'd move. Excellent cover. Walks away from that one. Osku looking for three in a row. Here to see his ball not hook. Match high sixth strike for Schaefer. Three players to this point by far. If you're in the Schaefer camp, some of the things behind him, some of the pressures that have built up on him. He's not the guy I want to keep seeing throw shots left to me for the next two games. In the dog fight here in the ninth. Double and there it wood. is. There it is again. Chris is a little ball gets on top of the old pattern and never recovers. Messenger. Oh, wow. At the backside didn't knock on the door. Osku, if you're the 10 pin, be afraid. Be very afraid. Big effort from Belmo here. Needs to cover the double wood. Ryan. Really good shot there. And have your confidence. You need to save your best stuff for the end. Things just exploding around the seven pin, but it won't drop. Schaefer. Belmo after the seven. A little hip check. Rash. They will tie. This is his first effort in the tenth. He too has moved on already. Another great shot, another ring and ten for Schaefer, but he's safely moving on. Left lane is the issue, it looks like, Chris, and you hit it at the start. Chosen to start with their feet a little further right and get closer to it. The other option is to get softer with your speed. But this is not a group of players that really likes to throw it slower. It's Schaefer. a must strike situation for him. There's your strike. And he gets a spare. Schaefer's final effort of match one. So he's done with the two thirds. <laughs> Must drop the 10 pin for a tie. Great of these two guys right now. Whoa! Not much room for air.
Welcome back to the PBA World Championship Finals. Just a few moments ago, this strike by Jason Belmonte on his fill ball in the 10th meant that Oscu Palerma had to strike out to advance. He got the first one, but number two comes up short. Oscu leads the 10 pin, which he barely converted. And that meant a tie with Jason Belmonte. Scores of 2.03 apiece. So now it's time for the sudden death roll off. Ladies and gentlemen, by PBA rule, this time must be broken by one ball sudden death roll off. The higher seed, in this case, Jason Belmonte, will have choice of starting lane and order. If the bowlers are tied after that first shot, they'll move to the other lane in the same order and they will alternate back and forth until the tie is broken. Jason. Jason Belmonte is elected to start on the right lane. He will go first. Good luck, gentlemen. Oh boy. Six count. Only six. Rosco moves on. And his dreams of his first major, those are done. Rob Stone, Randy Peterson.